So how many times after a bad golf shot do your playing partner say you lifted your head? It happens all the time. Doesn't matter whether it's a top shot, a thin shot, a shank, a right shot, a left shot. The result seems to always be the fact you have lifted your head. Well, how much fact is behind that? In my opinion, zero. There is no fact about it. And let me, let me tell you this very quickly. How many training aids have you ever seen to help you keep your head down? If it was the case, you see everyone on the driving range wearing helmets that are weighted to stop you lifting your head. It's garbage. Don't listen to that advice because it doesn't work. Let me tell you why it doesn't work, just so you don't think I'm just uh, bad mouthing people that say lift the head. If you catch your head down, if you catch your head focused down, it actually has more negatives than it does have positives. Because if a player, and I've seen this loads of times at a driving range, where a player will purposely be keeping their head down. Well, first off, I have no idea where the golf ball went. And secondly, I've lost so much power. There was no, there was no twist, there was no coil, there was no energy. You look at some of the best players in the world, they move their head, they lift their head, they rotate their body through the golf shot. Someone like a Henrik Stenson, he's almost looking at the target as he hits the golf shot. It doesn't have a negative effect, it helps you generate turn and power. Let me tell you what you can do though. So if you're hitting bad shots, there's a couple of things I quite like. The first thing is, I, I agree in the fact you should see the club hit the ball. That's fine, that's not a problem at all. And if you do, make sure you look at the back of the golf ball. Pick something that's very small. Focus on something at the back of the golf ball. And as soon as you hit the golf shot, rotate the body through. Finish with your torso going towards the target. Don't hold anything back. The second thing is monitor your strike. A lot of times when players hit bad shots and they get told to lift the head, I can almost guarantee you've hit it from there. You've hit the heel of the golf club and shanked it. Some of the spray you might have seen me use in other videos, athlete's foot spray. Spray it on the club face and hit shots and monitor your progress. And the last one, if you are topping the golf shot, which again is a common one, if you get told you lift the head, focus on this. Think about your sternum, the middle of the ball. And you bring come around this side a little bit and I'll show you what I mean. Think about your sternum, the middle of your body, your chest bone. As you hit a golf shot, make sure your sternum is moving left of the golf ball and purposely hit down. Move your sternum to the left and hit down. That way you'll strike it so much better. It's two things you don't want to listen to. One, you lift your head. Honestly, I promise you, nobody does it ever. Otherwise, you would see everybody in the world wearing weighted helmets. And number two, you'll always get told you swing too fast. It's not always the case. Swing with speed, but swing with control. That's massively important. Guys, tag your mates down below who say you lift your head. And also share this video around. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, lots more to come. We'll see you next time. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed that short video. I've been posting more like this over on my Facebook page. So make sure you go and give it a follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new around here. Otherwise, you're gonna catch the shanks. We'll see you soon.